All right, let's talk about the Saharan dust cloud that's leaving Houstonians under a hazy sky for several days this week. Meteorologist Elise Smith is here with how it's going to impact our forecast, Elise. Right, and it is a Saharan dust. It's a really neat phenomenon, right? To think about how it travels over 7,000 miles to reach us here in Houston. But the thing about Saharan dust, it's an annual occurrence. I know we talk about it every single spring and fall, and it's something we usually expect at least once between those months. But surprisingly, it's one of the least studied atmospheric phenomena, and that's according to the leading climate agency in Europe, Copernicus. Additionally, dust can be tricky to forecast, and forecasting its impacts can be even trickier. Actually, it's a bit of a paradox. Let me explain. So when conditions are right, large, thick plumes of dust can limit tropical development and cloud formation on a big scale. We like Saharan dust because it keeps the tropics quiet. You hear us say that all the time. But on a smaller scale, dust can aid in rain or even hail forming within showers and storms, acting as something for water vapor to condense onto. So the presence of dust can do this. It can lead to heavier showers when conditions are right. And that is why there are researchers and agencies across the globe looking into the implications of dust on our weather. But in the meantime, though, Travis, we're preparing for what could be one of the thicker plumes of Saharan dust we've seen here in Southeast Texas this year. And besides the hazy skyline, which we're already starting to see, Saharan dust can lead to a reduction in air quality and impacting those with existing res uh, respiratory issues.